Space is a place that you couldn't take me for all the money in the world. Seriously, I, I hate it. I hate the idea of it, and I know it hates me. I will not tolerate space, and every time a picture shows up from NASA, I am filled with only more and better reasons to just stay right here on Earth. These are the top 10 terrifying photos from space that NASA can't explain. Part 2. And hey, if you want to go to space, tell me why so I can laugh at you in the comments below. Number 10. The Venus Wave Spotted by the Akatsuki spacecraft in 2015, a massive wave was observed traveling across the surface of Venus. Stretching for 10,000 kilometers, the wave continued up until Venus's cloud tops, where it suddenly became stationary. It is uh, good to note that the average traveling speed of clouds in Venus upper atmosphere roughly caps out at about 100 meters per second. The source of the wave is undetermined, with theories being tossed around that it might have been caused by a rogue gravity wave, which itself would have been caused by the displacement of a fluid from its preferred position. Uh, as Venus is an extremely volatile planet, and no research craft has survived for longer than a couple of minutes on its surface, these claims are difficult to prove, and the secrets of this blue dot remain hidden beneath its swirling clouds. Number 9. Oumuamua On October 19th, 2017, an object was sighted from the University of Hawaii. Classified as a comet, the object is thin and flat, or roughly a quarter of a mile long. But more importantly, it was picking up speed. If you don't remember middle school science, an object in motion remains in motion unless acted upon by an object of similar or equal mass. In space, because there is nothing to act upon the object to slow it down, any velocity will be kept until impact. But an increase in velocity doesn't make sense without propellant. So what was moving Oumuamua? Well, the theory goes that it might contain a chunk of solid hydrogen, which was slowly falling off of the object's surface and allowing for an increase in speed. However, studying the comet is completely impossible, as it's the first observed object to fly into our system and then fly back out. So this theory is just kind of unconfirmed, and we may never know where the Traveler came from, nor where it did go. Number 8. PSO J3 18.5-22 Discovered yet again by our friends at the University of Hawaii, PSO J318.5-22 is a rogue planet floating through space without a star for it to orbit. It's estimated to be roughly the size of Jupiter, but as to where it came from, no one has a clue. Theories about some hoping that it may have been kicked away from its home star due to a gravitational anomaly, but who can say? None but the rogue planet, no. Number 7. The Diamond Planet Discovered in 2004, Janssen is an exoplanet close to the star Cancri A. Years later, the planet was determined to be a carbon planet, a theoretical type of planet with more carbon than oxygen. As a result of this, it is theorized, due to the method of which diamonds are created, that within Janssen could lie an absolute abundance of diamonds. However, getting to it would be difficult. See, Janssen's proximity to the sun is so small that average temperatures are estimated to be around eh, 17,000 degrees Celsius. So good luck getting close enough to snag some stones. Honestly, the scariest thing to me is that someone might actually try this, for reasons that I doubt even the greatest minds could truly comprehend, beyond, I guess, Greed. Number 6. The Vampire Star Halloween's over, but the true horror fans know that it lasts all year long. Not just limited to our solar system, the existence of Hammer Horror classic monsters has clearly reached the stars, specifically symbiotic stars. See, when two stars are formed in proximity to one another, their mass will draw in the hydrogen from the other star, which will deplete its life, turning it into a white dwarf. From there, the white dwarf will go supernova, annihilating both in the process. What scientists have have difficulty explaining is how such celestial entities exist, and worst of all, how some have survived the supernova. It's hypothesized that Betelgeuse, the star, not the ghost, is what's called a cannibal star. And before we observed it, Betelgeuse must have sucked the life out of another star. So why can we still see Betelgeuse today, despite the fact that the other star would have gone nova? 
Wait, did I say it three times? Number five, the huge LQG. Quasars are extremely supermassive black holes that are surrounded by accretion disks, which then release their generation of a beam as pure radiation. We'll get into that later. Cool and slightly terrifying, right? Well, the huge LQG is made up of a cluster of 74 quasars. 74. Originally believed to be impossible, this massive cluster of black holes and radiation defies both science and sense just by its existence. The huge LQG has a rough span of 4 billion light years, easily the largest structure in the universe, and by far larger than our own. Number four. The Boots Void. Do you know what's more terrifying than something? Nothing. And the Boots Void is just that. Nothing. A region of space where there is simply nothing. And to be clear, this isn't Barnard 68, the dark nebula that eats light. No, no, no. This is just nothing. Several galaxies do surround it, but none exist within its center. There's nothing within the void. There may never have been, and there maybe never will be. Or maybe there's just something keeping everything else out. Number three, the incoming mega comet. Did you know that every year 17,000 meteorites fall to Earth? Now, most of these just burn up in the atmosphere, usually long before they're visible. Uh, the ones that can be seen are the ones that are actually dubbed meteors. But what if a meteor couldn't burn up in the atmosphere? Spotted by the Hubble telescope, the comet Bernard Dinelli Bernstein is currently flying right towards us at around 72,000 miles per hour. 60 miles across, the meteor is roughly half the theorized size of the asteroid response for ending the age of the dinosaurs. But nevertheless, this cosmic catastrophe could cause considerable consternation were it to collide with our rock. So, when does it get here? Well, don't bother looking up because it, it isn't gonna come within like a billion miles of us. Even so, if it changes course even slightly, we could be looking at a pretty dark future. Number two, gamma ray bursts. There's a distinct beauty to black holes. They're swirling light collapsing into a mass so dense as to erase light itself. Their byproducts are gamma ray bursts. These streams of light that fire out of what would be visualized as the top and bottom of the black hole. It sort of looks like a gyroscope, only one that, you know, defies physics and erases matter. Well, as it turns out, even the most beautiful parts of this flower can be its deadliest, as gamma ray bursts are explosions of high intensity radiation that could cook anything in its way in a matter of seconds. So it's a good thing that, you know, stars aren't dying out regularly, and even better that our planet has never been hit by a gamma ray burst before, oh wait, it actually totally was. Well, the effects wouldn't exactly be, you know, Death Star adjacent, if Close enough, the radiation would absolutely be lethal, and close in terms of spatial proximity could be anywhere, honestly. Comforting thought. Number one, the CMB cold spot. The CMB cold spot was discovered by the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, a device primarily constructed to measure cosmic background radiation and test the theory of the Big Bang. The cold spot was added to a structure that is titled, I'm not joking, the Axis of Evil, a name given to any anomaly that deviates from the Copernican principle. Far larger than the boot's void, temperatures within the cold spot are around 0.00007 Kelvin. The average in space, of course, is about 2.7 Kelvin. What caused the creation of the cold spot is unknown, but physicist Laura Mersini Houghton claimed that it could be an imprint from a parallel universe. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a good one.